Whenever doing cinematics, something that is quite important is handling the camera. Although this is an area we want to improve a lot, let's see how you can do camera animation currently in Flux. What we want to do for this demo is to have the camera zigzagging between these columns, always looking at the red sphere on the end. There's two ways to animate the camera. The first is, like we did in the object animation video, to simply animate both position and rotation. However, doing so is quite hard. It is very time consuming and usually you have to set up a lot of frames in order for it to look smooth. The second way, which is what we suggest you use most of the time, is based on targets. Basically, you animate the camera's position and then you give it a target to look at. Not only is it much easier to set up, but it gives you far better results faster. We're going to be focusing on this approach for this video. To add camera animation, we first drag the camera into the sequence and then add a play animation event to it. Let's start by editing the animation in order to create the zigzag behavior. First, we remove the rotation curve. Let's also toggle the animation preview so we can see the path the camera is taking. Next, we simply add keyframes where we want the camera to be at each time. The default movement is quite smooth, however there's a few areas where it looks like it could be better, so we'll adjust the curves. Now that the camera motion is done, all we need to do is make it look at the target. To do so, click plus and then choose Transform Look At. In the event, we set the target to be the camera target object we have in the scene. As you scrub, notice that the camera's position is being set by the animation and then the Look At event takes care of the rotation. As a simple test, let's try and make the camera look at the path it is following. To do so, first let's increase the size of this sequence. Then we drag the camera target to the sequence and add a play animation event on it. Now let's just grab the animation and controller we already created for the camera animation since we want the same behavior. For the camera to follow the target, we simply offset its events slightly so that they are a bit behind the target. As you can see, the camera is now looking down that path. For more information, please visit fluxeditor.com.